Now, the petition to decriminalize marijuana within Lubbock city limits has been given to the city today before the deadline was up. The group Freedom Act Lubbock needed 4,800 signatures of registered voters to even get it considered by council. KLBK's Eddie Catano joining us. Now, Eddie, did they hit their goal? Yes, they actually got double what they needed. After several months of going to many local events around town, they collected more than 10,000 signatures. Hard work that organizers hope will pay off. Today is the culmination of more than nine months of work that began in January of this year. It was not an easy task by any means, and hundreds of hours were spent planning and building out the strategy before we even collected our first signature. One signature turned to dozens turned to 7,500. Anyone who has ever had to collect signatures for a petition like this knows how ambitious of a goal that is to try to accomplish in 60 days. I don't know if any of us knew for certain how many more signatures we'd be able to collect in this final week. Adam Hernandez for Freedom Act of Lubbock says 7,500 was their original goal, but some extra pushes at events around town created an even bigger outcome than they expected. Which brings me to our final signature count, the moment everyone has been waiting for. I am extremely happy and proud to report to you all here today that the final number of signatures we've collected for Freedom Act Lubbock is 10,540. 10,540 signatures that Hernandez says will bring great change to Lubbock. This is how we make change. This is how we get the things we want and need for our communities. And help those that need marijuana in order to help with medical issues. And now it's the waiting game to see if they have the 4,800 registered signatures to bring the petition to council. The city secretary's office will verify the signatures to make sure that we've got the uh, amount of valid signatures. We do expect city council to vote this initiative down. Um, but the next step will be the ballot. If it goes to a vote, it will be in May city election. Hernandez says those who have been sitting out on elections to go get registered and showed up, show up on the polls. Hernandez says by voting, all their hard work they have committed into the petition will, go, will not go to waste and will bring change to Lubbock. Thank you very much, Eddie. Fort Worth Police.